decentralization. Is it really better? Is this innovative and disruptive if we take a system and decentralize it? The concept of decentralization is supposed to go like this. You take a system like a database keeping track of money, art, or other things, and instead of having that system managed by a single entity like a government or corporation, you decentralize it and spread the responsibility among an array of random anonymous nodes that basically follow a very specific set of instructions. What's the main motivation for decentralizing something? To claim there is no overseer. There is no evil emperor who can mess with your new decentralized system. This is supposed to imply that such a system is immune from corruption and otherwise unstoppable. Remember, one of the principles in the crypto world is that you can't trust central authorities, least of all governments, to do anything right. So let's create some computer code and offload as much as we can to an array of unknown machines primarily located in communist countries. Wait. That doesn't seem to make sense. You don't understand. Okay, boomer. Bro, this is the Have fun Yo, staying poor. They said the same thing about the internet, you know. Another interesting feature of decentralization is the fact that when you have nobody clearly in charge, you also have nobody to blame when things go wrong. There is no accountability. This may seem odd to normal people. In our society, the whole concept of stability and reliability is predicated on accountability. Having someone in charge means they have their reputation on the line and are motivated to act trustworthy. We have an elaborate justice system that protects and holds people accountable. But what happens when nobody's in charge? Where is there any motivation to be trustworthy? How do you ensure fairness and justice? Crypto proponents argue you don't need trust. The system is trustless. Code is law. You might think to yourself, it still sounds like you have to trust somebody or something. Maybe instead of government, it's whoever's writing the code that runs the blockchain. There's still trust, but now there's no real accountability. That doesn't sound good. You don't understand. Okay, boomer. Bro, this is the have fun Yo, staying poor. They said the same thing about the internet, you know. Consensus. So, if nobody's in charge of a decentralized system, how does anything get done? This is where another buzzword comes into play. Consensus. Like decentralization, consensus is another magic word that, as long as you don't look into it too specifically, magically solves all problems. How are decisions made regarding monetary policy? Consensus. How do we know the code running the network is reliable and solid? Consensus. How do we improve the technology and address future needs and expansion? Consensus. Once you decentralize the system, then consensus magically makes everything work perfectly. And if things go wrong, then consensus will fix them. This is why there are now a dozen different versions of Bitcoin. Every time one group has consensus, they leave behind another group who disagrees and follows a different path. In the world of decentralization, there's not much incentive for everybody to adopt a singular standard. And now we have 50,000 different incompatible crypto projects. And uh, that's consensus? It seems more divisive than inclusive.